Hello beauties, welcome to another video. I'm Jessica Geek, the Dancing Avon Lady, and today we are doing some cashmere liqueur swatches. Let's do this. You know what? I realized that I said liqueur, but is it liqueur? Lacquer? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's probably lacquer. Lacquer just sounds a little bit too fancy. <laughs> but let's be fancy today. This is a brand new spanky product that's available at Avon Canada for our FMG line. I am really excited to try this out. I do have three different shades to swatch today, so if I don't drop them all. So let's get right into this. These are supposed to be a long-lasting lip color that is a vegan formula, and it has two parts to it. One side is color, and the other side is a clear coat that kind of helps keep everything sealed in. I've seen these before. I've never used one before, so I am excited to try out what the difference is and how it works. So what we're going to do today is we are going to do a half lip after I do a bunch of swatches of all the colors. So we're going to do a half lip in the sense of half of it I'm going to I'll use the clear coat and the other half I'm not going to use the clear coat and see what happens from there. This is a transfer smudge and feather proof formula with a full coverage and a high gloss finish. It is free from parabens and as I did already mention it is a vegan formula. Um, this is perfect for anyone who already loves our cashmere lip cream line but just wants a different alternative and maybe something a little bit more long lasting and also for those who are looking for a really long lasting lipstick. The coating is supposed to also be moisturizing, which is something that I was concerned about because I am notorious for someone who always needs to have something on my lips, whether it be lip balm, lip gloss, a lip mask, lipstick, something. Right now, my lips are naked and I'm feeling a little exposed. It does come in six sumptuous shades is what Avon says. And I have three, so I have half of them to share with you today. The three that I have are Pink Fection, which is the one that Lisa recommended. And then I also got a Stunning Scarlet because I mean, who doesn't love a red lip? At least I know how much I love a red lip. And then also a Beautifully Bare, which is the one that my sister-in-law recommended. What we're going to do today is like I said, we're gonna do a half coat, we're gonna do a kiss test, and then we're going to see how it lasts for a little bit, probably until after a first meal. So let's get right into opening these beauties up. First off, let's do the Pink Fection. Retail, these do run at $32 each and you can always keep an eye out for sales on them as well as right now at the time of filming they are on promotion but let's open this up okay so I did open one up earlier so this is not a first impression on the actual packaging but it will be a first impression on how it feels on my lips so the packaging itself is a very very nice it's very sleek very sexy black and gold I'm gonna assume that all the packages look pretty much the same there is the little color dot at the bottom, so you'll be able to see that. And then this one is the Scarlet Red. And then the final one here is the Beautifully Bare. First off, let's do a swatch of the colors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch it and then wipe it off just so that you can see what co the color looks like on my lips. And then for the final test, I'll do it with the clear coat because they did say that you, in order to get the long lasting wear, you do have to apply it properly. And we're going to get into that in a little bit. Let's start off with the pink section. Okay, so it is a doe foot applicator. This is this is almost like a bubblegum pink. How cute is that? Ooh, okay. Let's try it. So here, here is the pink fection. Let's try on my lips. Doesn't have too much of a scent. So right now, it really just looks like a gloss. Yeah, it feels just like a gloss. No tackiness, no stickiness. Feels like a really nice gloss. This is actually a really pretty color. I did. I thought that this would be way too light for me. But it's a pretty color. Let's wipe this off. And we're going to try Beautifully Bare. Ooh, this one's much more pigmented. All right, let's try on my lips. For things like this, I think that it is important to exfoliate beforehand. I did not. Here is Beautifully Bare, just as a swatch. It's actually kind of nice. I didn't think I liked it at first. But now, I'm getting used to it. Kind of like it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You know what I did notice though? It does dry on your lips, which is what it's supposed to do. I'm going to take some of our Face Shop 
um, waterproof liquid and uh, liquid lip and eye makeup remover to remove it off my lips. Ooh, because I think that took a little bit more time with taking the Beautifully Bare off and it had time to set, which is good to know. Let's now do the Stunning Scarlet, which should be the deepest shade. Ooh, look at that. <gasps> oh my God, this is going to be so red. I love it. I have to say, it applies so well. I think I'm going to use this one as my test color. kind of love it. It's so bright and happy. It's like apple red. So here are the three swatches of color. To wear this properly, what you need to do is you need to apply it on clean, dry lips, which is what I did. Then what you're supposed to do is let it dry completely, and then you apply the lacquer. So we're going to wait a minute and let this dry, and then we're going to do the cup test. What I am noticing is that during the drying process, it does stick. So I can't wear this just as a gloss because then my lips would be like, feel like they're kind of glued together. It's been about a minute and a half now. I just started fanning though. But I want to make sure I do this right. All right, it looks like that it is dry now. See, nothing's coming off. When I press my lips together though, it feels weird. It feels almost as if I have a little bit of a sticky substance beside it. So the side that I'm going to keep without the luck the, the clear coat might drive me a little nuts throughout the day, but that's okay. All for science, kind of. Not really science, but all for beauty. Yes, these ones are also dry. Nothing is smudging, but it still has a little bit of tackiness to it. So that's why I figured that I think it's just going to feel this slight tackiness. Ooh, okay. So the clear coat side is like a, like a brush. I like that. Oh, I was not expecting that. It smells... A little bit like bread <laughs> it's weird you know like that that slightly sweet but tinily flavor like yeah it just that slightly sweet scent that's the best way I can describe it all right so we're gonna do half my lip now oh wow it adds such a gorgeous bit of shine to it look how shiny this side is I do like it with the shine now I gotta let this dry before I can do the test so again I'll be right back the texture is so weird comparing the sides. I don't recommend only wearing a half if you're doing this day to day, but this color of red makes my teeth look so much whiter too. I like it. I think they say anything with a little bit of blue in it will help you make your teeth look whiter. I don't know if this part needs to actually dry. Let's just do a little tap test. Oh, nothing came off. First off, let's do the coffee test. I use this mug for a test all the time. So Oh, you can tell the difference. So the side that I didn't wear anything actually doesn't, it does come off a little bit, right? But this side here, nothing. All right, let's do a kiss test. Cup her up, baby. <laughs> He's so camera shy. <laughs> oh, look at that. So this is the side, obviously with no gloss. This is the side with gloss. You see a teeny tiny little bit right here that came off, but I mean, I think it'd be so little that you can't really tell. What we're gonna do, we're gonna wait it out for a bit longer. I'm gonna get to work and we're gonna check back in a bit. See you soon. Okay, so this is what we're going to do today to test the lipstick. It's pizza time. So here's my lipstick right now. See how this part sticks off? Like this size feels so much better. It's, it is actually really super moisturizing. All right. So I'm gonna fully have lunch and then I'll do a touch base. See you in a bit. Lunch is done. And as you can see, the lip color is still super vibrant on my lips. No feathering. So the main difference that I do find is that the side that I put the gloss on, it feels a lot better than the side that did not have the gloss. The side that doesn't have the gloss, the, the gloss coating, it actually feels tackier. So if you could look, see that? This side comes up a lot easier. So it becomes a lot smoother on this side. Overall, I really do like it. It feels actually really, really comfortable on my lips. More comfortable than I actually anticipated it would. It's uh, especially with the coating. Like the coat, the, the clear coat, it doesn't actually dry down it it stayed kind of like 
almost like a, a, a balmy gloss, like a cross between a balm and a gloss the entire time. And it, it just offers like this little bit of hydration, which is really nice. So overall, I am really, really happy with it. I would only recommend wearing it with the coat personally because A, it does make it transfer free and B, it also feels a lot better on your lips. And that's that. All right, these are the lips. 14 hours in, it survived two meals, numerous drinks, a nap, and the attempt at saving a baby raccoon. <laughs> really does last forever. So if you're interested in learning more about this product, make sure you do go to the link in the description box below. If you haven't yet hit, make sure you do subscribe to the channel for new weekly videos. And until next time, guys, I love you so very, very much. Be sure to stay well, stay safe, and stay fantastic. Bye. Bye.